started. Happy Friday, everybody. Welcome to Friday Flow. My name is Ellen. We're going to go through today. I have kind of a little more gentle flow um, than what we normally do. And as always, feel free to take this at whatever pace you would like. Um, if you have your yoga blocks, you can go ahead and grab those. These are always really helpful and assist in some of our poses that are on the floor. We're actually going to start in a tabletop position. So you want to find, make sure you have nice support for your knees. So whether that's two mats or maybe an extra blanket, you want to make sure that you have support for your knees here. And we want to place those hands right underneath our shoulders and our knees right underneath our hips. We're going to start with a nice cat cow. So as you inhale, you're going to drop that belly, lift the chest, lift your tailbone. And on your exhale, you're going to draw that chin to your chest and round your spine. And then again, nice inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Really exaggerating the stretch for your lower back and your shoulders. And then exhale, draw that chin, pull that belly button in towards your spine. Get a big stretch. Let's do this just a couple more times. Inhale, drop the belly, lift the chest. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale, getting a little bit deeper into the mat. And exhale, imagine you're sort of moving away from it, lifting up. We'll do this two more times. Inhale. And exhale, just gently starting to wake up the body. And one more. Inhale and exhale, round that spine. Push away from the floor. And then coming back to your neutral spine. So we're gonna come into puppy pose. And we're going to extend those arms straight in front of us. In puppy pose, your hips stay lifted. You lower down to your forearms. Your head goes to the floor. And you just keep those hips lifted up. So not quite downward facing dog, but puppy pose. You should feel a big stretch in your shoulders, your arms and your back. Hold this for a couple breaths. Take one more breath in puppy pose. And then gently pull yourself up. Inhale. And now exhale, we're going to sort of stretch out the opposite part. So we're getting our upper body. Now we're going to stretch out those hips. I want you to gently drop your hips here, almost like you're an upward facing dog. And if that's a little too much on your back, you can lay it all the way down and find a sphinx pose or a baby cobra. So we're just gonna hang out here for a couple of breaths. So if you're in that upper dog, you're just dropping those hips to the floor, your elbows slightly bent here, lifting that chest. Same thing if you're in that sphinx. One more breath. And then I want you to tuck your tailbone Draw that navel in towards your spine. Lift those hips back up. Inhale. Exhale. Stack the hips on top of those knees and walk your hands back up to puppy. We're going to go through that again. Drop the head. Lower down. Hold this puppy pose here. This one's especially good if you sit all day at your desk. You might find that there's a lot of tension in your shoulders and your upper back. So here you can even lower it down onto a block if maybe you're not quite making that all with the floor. Inhale, come back up. And then exhale, you're gonna drop those hips or maybe come all the way down. You get by that sphinx pose again. So I'm gonna come down and switch up. So this just depends on the flexibility of your spine and just how this feels on your lower back. So do whichever one feels better for you. 
And then we're gonna go through it just one more time in each pose to so take one more breath in that up dog or that sphinx, which is sort of your modified up dog. And then go ahead and gently press up, inhale, and then exhale, make your way back to that puppy pose. Hips stay right on top of your knees. Lower that forehead, lower to your arms. Feel that stretch. Couple of breaths. Again, you can lower down onto a block or a roll up towel. And then inhale, slowly walk those hands up. And then exhale, drop those hips gently into that up dog or your sphinx, which is sort of a modified up dog. So wherever you're at, lifting that chest, dropping those shoulders. Take two more breaths right here. One more. And then very slowly press yourself back up. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to bring those knees nice and wide, feet together. We're going to sit back into a child's pose. So sit all the way back into those heels. Bring your forehead to the floor. You can sit back onto that block as well or that roll up towel. All the way down. Shift your weight here from right to left. Just getting a big stretch in that spine. Walk those hands over to that right diagonal. So getting a big stretch along the side body. You should feel it along your left side. Inhale, bring it back to the center and exhale over to the other side. And then back to the center. Inhale, one more time over to that right diagonal. Reach as far as you can. Try to bring your nose to your knee. Go as far as you can until you feel that gentle, slight pull. Inhale, walk it back over to the center and exhale, same thing over to that other side. Reach as far as you can until you feel that stretch. Hold it for a breath or two. And then inhale, slowly come back up and exhale, walk on up. All right, we're gonna face the front. You can come into any seated position here. So you're gonna be resting on those shins or in a cross-legged position, whatever is comfortable. We're gonna reach those arms up as we inhale, big deep breath, and exhale, we're gonna drop that right hand down and reach over to that right side. So again, working into that side body, just starting to warm up a little bit. Inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale, drop that left hand and arm and reach it over. Now while we're here, I want you to think of lifting up and out of your seat and keeping that chest open. Because we're gonna change this in just a moment. Inhale, come back up. Let's do it one more time, exhale. I'm actually gonna sit on top of my block. Do a tight hips, so you can do this as well. Provides a little more space there. There we go. Feels better. And then come back to the top. Inhale and exhale. Drop the other arm and reach up. So we're nice and tall here, finding length in the body. Inhale and exhale. So this time we're going to drop our shoulder and our chest down, sort of close off as we inhale. Rotate and look down on the floor. And then exhale, I want you to open back up and take your gaze towards your elbow. Let's do that again. Inhale, rotate down. So you're sort of pulling your chest towards the floor. And then exhale, open it back up. Almost as if you're opening up for triangle pose. Right, we're stacking that shoulder on top of our hip and we're looking up. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, look down, and then exhale, open up, take your gaze at your elbow, press your hips into the floor, one more breath, back to the center, inhale, now exhale, other side, drop that left arm, now your right arm reaches, hips into the floor, and as we inhale, we rotate down, still want to keep those hips on the floor, look down at the mat, 
and then exhale, open and stack that shoulder. Take your gaze also at your elbow. Let's do that again. You want to do this very slowly, inhale and exhale. One more time. <clears throat> or as if you're coming into extended side angle, triangle pose, any of those. Hold this for just a couple breaths. You're looking right at that elbow. You've opened your shoulders and chest. Press those hips and then slowly back to the center. Inhale and then exhale to shake it out here. Arms come down, couple shoulder rolls. Good job. Go ahead and walk those hands forward on your inhale, going as far as you can, and next I'll just drop that head down. So it doesn't matter how far you go here, just a, a regular forward fold. I want you to hold that for just a couple breaths. Just regular forward fold. You can reach for maybe the block in front of you or whatever you like. Perfect. Good group this morning. Welcome everybody. And then take one more breath in that forward fold. On your next inhale, slowly walk those hands back up. Come back up to the top. And then exhale, you're going to take your hands behind you. This time I want you to pull your shoulder blades together and lift that chest. Maybe take it back. Maybe that head comes up. Hold this for a couple breaths. Pulling those shoulder blades together. Opening up through the chest. And then tuck that chin in as you inhale and exhale. Just one more time, walking those hands out into your forward fold. And hold this right here. One more breath in that forward fold. Inhale, slowly walk those hands up. And exhale, take those hands behind you. Hold it here for a couple breaths, pulling your shoulder blades together, lifting the chest. Maybe reaching far back and really extending that chest. You could take your head back if it feels comfortable. One more breath here. Slowly tuck that chin, inhale, bring your hands to knees as you exhale. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna continue working through the side body. And now we're gonna come up to a kneeling position. So make sure you have that extra mat or blanket. You can even take one end of your mat and fold it. That's usually what I do. Okay. So we did this one a couple weeks ago. Kneeling position here. Okay, so we're gonna practice working that core a little bit and we're going to move from side to side like we did um, seated and then eventually we're going to extend the leg out for sort of a modified side plank. So if you have those blocks handy or something that you could um, hold on to, make sure you have that um, close by. So let's start with those arms out, okay? We want shoulders down, away from those ears. Once you stitch your ribcage together, and we never want our hips to be going back while we're here. We want them forward the whole time. So we don't ever want to drop the hips back. So you can squeeze your glutes just a little bit. Take an inhale here, and as we exhale, let's drop that left arm down and slowly bring our right arm up. And we want to keep those hips forward, so the movement's really only coming from our obliques and from our torso up. Inhale, slowly come back. Imagine like a side crunch, and then exhale. You're sort of bringing your root cage to your hip. I want you to try to relax your feet behind you. Try to keep those feet untucked. Inhale, and exhale. So it's sort of like an iron cross. Inhale, center, and exhale. And you just reach as far as you can here. Big, big reach. We're gonna do it one more time. On each side, inhale and exhale. So here's our last one. And then we'll work with that left arm. So 
and that right side. Go ahead and hold this here, right arm reaches. Hold this for just a couple of breaths. Again, you're sort of stitching that rib cage together. We have that block. You can place that right underneath your hand. Maybe you're super flexible and you can touch the floor. And now what I want you to do is take your hand down to your hip on your inhale, and then exhale, you're gonna now extend that right leg. Okay, so again, keeping those hips forward. So these hips, our side body tends to be really tight. So we're going to work on stretching them, strengthening them, and hopefully you feel much better after this. We'll take that right arm up, inhale, and then exhale, we're gonna slowly come up. Inhale, reach it back over. Hand either coming to your block or to the floor, and then exhale. So now working, really working through those obliques. Let's do it two more times. Just get a little bit lower with my block. Inhale and exhale. Keep those hips forward. One last time. Inhale. And you're going to stay right here on that exhale. So now we're going to drop that shoulder, rotate it towards the floor, just like we did before, as if you're collapsing. And as you exhale, once you lift away from the mat and lift that chest and take your gaze at that elbow. Let's do it just one more time. Inhale as if you're closing and sinking. And then exhale once you really lift. You can squeeze your glutes a little bit. Your chest is fully open. You're looking at that elbow. If you want an extra challenge, lift that leg off the floor. I'm not sure I can quite do that on this side, but if you want to try it, go for it. Hold this for four. Keep breathing three, two, and one. Slowly come back up. Inhale. You're going to bend this leg as you exhale. Gently, you can sit back. Maybe find a quick child's pose. If that felt like it was a lot on your back. So take a nice quick child's pose. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. If you don't have blocks, you could also use the wall or maybe a chair. And again, you want to think of stitching your rib cage together so core is working the whole time. If it's, if it's relaxed like this, then we are going to arch our back a little bit. So think more of uh, flexing and tucking that tailbone in a little bit. And that will give you nice support all the way around. So arms out. Let's go ahead and start with that left arm. Inhale and exhale. So just doing this a couple times to warm up that side body. In case it's feeling a little tight this morning. Inhale and exhale. We'll do one more on each side. Think of squeezing your glutes just a little bit as well. All right, so now we're gonna hold on this side. That left arm is reaching over. So with every exhale, finding a little more length using that block in any which way you'd like. One more breath, and then we're gonna go ahead and extend that left leg. So you wanna find your balance, make sure you support for that knee, extend that left leg, look down, make sure it's making a nice straight line with your body. Hold this here. And then slowly come up, inhale, using those obliques, and exhale. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift up. Good, and exhale. Beautiful, you all look great. We're gonna do it just one more time. Inhale up. And exhale, come down. You sort of play around with the arms a little bit there. All right, so we're still keeping those hips forward. We don't want them to drop back. Now inhale, go ahead and rotate your shoulder and your torso, face the floor. And now exhale, open it up as if you're stacking. We are going to go in the triangle pose. So you will be nice and ready once we get there. Let's do that again. Just one more time. Inhale, drop. Exhale. Because it's all in that torso. Open up. Twisting from the rib cage, the shoulders. You're looking up at your elbow. Think of lifting away from the floor. Right? So maybe lifting onto your fingertips. Extra challenge, you can extend or lift that leg. You're gonna hold this for four, that will help strengthen those hips. Three, two, and one. Inhale, come up, and then exhale. Great job. And go ahead, slowly sit it back. 
can find that nice child's pose. With the knees together, you'll feel a little more of that stretch in your back as opposed to the knees wide, child's pose. Just a little more on those hips. Hang on here for a few breaths. Just keeping it nice and gentle today. But we will get our heart rates up just a little bit with a flow in, in a moment. Go ahead and slowly come on up. If you have that mat folded, you can go ahead and fold it on back. We're going to find a downward facing dog now on our mat. So you're going to take your hands to the top. I want you to really spread those fingers wide, tuck your toes, and lift those hips way up. So you should already be feeling warm. Pedal up those heels. We'll continue to stay warm, generate a little more heat in the body with a quick flow. So hold your down dog, hang out here for a couple breaths. Options, you can lower those knees, you can find that puppy pose. We won't be here for too long, but always good to give yourself options. On your next inhale, you're gonna bend your knees. And as you exhale, you're gonna slowly walk those feet up to your hands. Take your time. Maybe you have to move those hands away from the mat. Bend the knees, nice forward fold. Try to reach your palms to the floor. So this is actually a great, great stretch for that lower back here. Allow the upper body to be really heavy. Maybe you sway gently side to side if that feels good. Whatever you like. Just imagine that your head is really heavy, almost like a bowling ball. So we don't want any tension in that neck. Just completely allow that head to go as well. And on your next inhale, you're gonna slowly reach those arms up. Inhale, reach up, press those heels into the floor. All the way up as you exhale, you're gonna bring those palms together and lower those hands down. Exhale, perfect. All right, here we go. Reach those arms up, inhale, and exhale, you're gonna let it go. So we're gonna swan dive forward, letting all of it go right here. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands come to your knees or your shins. I want you to pull your shoulder blades together. And exhale, lower. We're gonna set our right foot back. We're gonna come into a nice high lunge. You're gonna lift the chest. Take those arms up as you inhale and exhale, hold. So just a nice high crescent lunge. You have an option of lowering that knee to the floor and maybe finding a low lunge if you like. So want that back leg nice and straight, chest up, arms up here, maybe cactus pose, feels better, whatever you like. We're gonna hold this for one more breath. And then inhale, I want you to lift a little bit higher. And as you exhale, you're just going to peel open that hip and drop your heel onto the floor. Bend that front knee. We're going to come into warrior two. So shoulders are down. Arms are also nice and strong. You want to keep your shoulders right on top of those hips. Take one more breath here. As you inhale, flip that palm. Exhale, take it back for Peaceful Warrior. Take your gaze up at your hand. Go ahead and straighten that front leg. Press into the floor. Maybe reach back a little bit further. Continue to work in that side body. And then inhale, come on down. Exhale, we're gonna come into a wide triangle pose. So start by placing that hand on your knee. And then you can take that back hand on your hip. Now we've warmed up our side body quite a lot. So if you're ready, just like we did before, open up and extend that arm completely. It's not there quite yet. You can stay right here. This is my tighter side, so I'm gonna keep my hand on my hip, but I'm still opening that shoulder. You wanna imagine you're falling into a wall. Hold this right here. That hand then slides closer down to your ankle. 
as you continue to get deeper into this pose. Good, one more breath. Push into your back foot, inhale, and exhale. We're gonna cartwheel those hands down. Take that back heel off the floor. Cartwheel those hands down here. We're coming to a nice low lunge. Keep those hips down, keep your chest up. You can use your blocks here, or maybe those hands reach the floor. And then we're gonna slowly step it back to downward facing dog. So step it on back, down dog. Here's a little more upper body core and strength. We're gonna inhale, come forward to our plank. Remember, stacking our shoulders right on top. You wanna to tuck the hips under, squeeze those glutes just a little bit, and then exhale, knees and chest, chaturanga. Elbows go back. You want that chest to land in front of your fingertips. Flatten your toes. Keep those elbows pulled in. Inhale, lift baby cobra. Spine is nice and warm. Exhale, right tuck the toes and press back to down dog or child's pose. Your choice. And you're going to hold up there for a couple of breaths and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So just enough work to get super warm. One more breath in your child's pose or down dog. Next breath, you're gonna bend those knees. Think of pressing those hips way back. And then exhale, walk, hop or jump to your forward fold. Getting nice and low. Next, inhale, bring those arms up. Nice and slow, you're gonna come up to standing. You're gonna bring those palms together. Maybe a little back bend there, and then exhale, lower down. So same thing on the other side. We're gonna go right into that lunge, to warrior two. Inhale up, and exhale, float it down. Let it go. Inhale, lift halfway. So you want your back super flat here. Push your heels into the floor. Lift your chest. And then exhale, come on down. You're gonna step your left leg back this time. Big step back. Keep that leg straight, arms come up. High lunge. Hold this right here. You want the same amount of weight in your back leg as your front leg. Stitch that rib cage together. One more breath here. And then inhale, you're gonna lift up. You're gonna open that hip. Slide and press your heel into the floor. Lower those arms as you exhale, warrior two. Bending that front leg, keeping your back leg nice and straight. Imagine you're being pulled in both directions at the same time so that your chest and your shoulders sort of land somewhere right in the middle. So right on top of those hips. Inhale, flip that front arm. Exhale, peaceful warrior, take it back. Take your gaze up at your hand. Challenge that balance just a little bit. And now I want you to press into your front foot. Find a little more length than that reach. And then inhale, come on back. Exhale, you're gonna reach towards that front foot. Pop that other hip out and come into your triangle pose. You can start here. This is my much more flexible side so I can go right into opening up completely. So remember all those movements we did on the floor, the chest drops, and then we open it. So you really want to stack that shoulder on your hip. If an arm is following, it's also nice and straight, and your wrist is right on top of your shoulder. So you can bend that front knee a little bit. You can even bring your feet a little closer together to make this a little less challenging. Hold your triangle pose. If you are by a wall, I challenge you to use it. So you're gonna come just a couple of inches away from it, and then I want you to lean into the wall. That's how you know how open you really have to be for a triangle pose. One more breath, everybody. Use those core muscles to pull yourself back up. Inhale, push into that back foot. Good, exhale, cart with those hands down. Hands on either side of your foot either on the floor or on some walks. I want your hips down, back leg nice and straight and your chest up. So if you can't quite do that, 
with your knee off the floor and then drop your knee. Okay. I want hips lower than your shoulders. We're getting a big stretch in that hip. One more breath. And then go ahead and step it back. Great job, down dog. Now you can hang out in down dog. You can hang out in child's pose. Or you can go through this sequence again. Your plant chaturanga, baby cobra or up dog, and then come on back. Your choice. Take your time. If you want extra, you can add in an extra chaturanga push up, right? You can lower without lowering your knees to the floor, whatever you want to do. You're going to end in your child's pose um, or your down dog. And we're going to hold that. For just two more breaths, and we're gonna do it one more time through. Good job, everybody. One more breath in your down dog or a child's pose. Perfect. All right, next inhale, you're gonna bend those knees. Exhale, walk up or jump. Come into that forward fold, let it go. Inhale, take some to standing. Nice and slow, we're gonna bring our palms together and lower down. All right, so we're just gonna go through it one more time. Nice and gentle, but still keeping that heart rate up. So we're getting a big stretch in our hips, but also in our shoulders. Let's take it up, inhale, and exhale, let's let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, chest is lifted, shoulder blades are pulled together. And exhale, you're gonna set that right like that. Big, big step back. High lunge, keep those hips low, reach those arms up, and hold it right here. Keeping that back heel off the floor, leg is super straight. We're getting ready for warrior two. Lift a little higher on the inhale, open that hip, press your heel into the floor, and exhale lower for warrior two. Arms are strong. Bending that front leg, back leg is straight. Inhale, flip that palm, exhale, take it back. Peaceful warrior, big stretch here. Look up at that hand. And then press into that front leg, straighten it out. Maybe reach an inch further. Inhale, come back to that warrior two. Exhale, reach forward, pop that hip back and go right into triangle pose. Wide triangle pose. You have that wall. Try it against the wall. Just see how it feels. Woo, my goodness. A lot harder. Hold that there. You want to lift out of the floor in your triangle. So you don't want to be sinking down, right? Lifting up. Perfect. One more breath. Lifting up. Inhale, push into that foot. Exhale, cartwheel down. Coming back into that lunge. Nice. Low lunge with those hips. We're gonna reach and twist over that front leg. So just one extra layer here. So you're gonna press your right hand into the floor. And then as you exhale, that left arm is gonna extend. Whatever leg is in front, that same arm is going to extend. I'm gonna drop my back knee. Reach and twist. You're gonna hold this here for a couple breaths. I want you to watch your front knee. Make sure it's not moving around. Hold it there. If your leg is extended, I want those hips low. So to check it out, good. Nice, perfect, Regina, keeping that chest up. Good, Teresa. That hand can be extended, that arm can be extended or on your hip. Can you lift your chest a little bit higher? One more breath. Lift the chest, drop the hips, and then inhale, take that hand down. Woo, exhale, step it back, good job. So then you can go through your flow. You can find a child's pose, whatever you like. Move fast, move slow. I'm gonna give you about three more breaths to do whatever you like. And then we're just gonna practice one more time on the other side. Adding that final layer, which is that low lunge and our twist at the very end. All right, you're gonna bend those knees. Inhale, exhale, walk up or jump, forward fold. Let's get ready for the other side. Inhale, takes us up. Nice and slow, press those heels into the floor. Palms come together. 
exhale. Sweating a little bit. Nice and warm. And now reach up. Here we go. Last time. And exhale. Let it go. Let it all go here this morning. Halfway lift. Chest up. Hips back. Heels into the floor. And exhale. Big step back with that left leg. High lunge. So here, this is my tighter hip. So I adjust a little bit by bending my knee and by keeping my lunge a little bit closer in and not as long. So adjust for however you need to. Hips are down, chest is up. Inhale, you're gonna lift a little bit higher. Open that hip, press your heel into the floor and lower down warrior two. So we don't want our hips up or leaning to one side. You're stacked right on top of those hips. One more breath, nice strong arms, good job. Flip that palm, inhale, exhale, take it back, peaceful warrior, take your gaze up. Press into your front leg, find a little more length. Inhale, come back to your warrior two, exhale, flow right into that wide triangle. We're here for a couple breaths. So we're reaching down to that ankle, if you can extend that arm, Extend it up, make sure that wrist is right on top of your shoulder. Hold that there for a couple of breaths. Let me check it out. So just like in the beginning, right, we're opening up from that torso and shoulder. Nice. Good, Mindy. Good, Teresa. Looking good, everybody. Hold it for a couple more breaths. Lifting up and out of that rib cage. So keeping your chest up and your head up. One more breath. Inhale, press into that back foot. Ooh, exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Here's our last layer. We hang out in this lunge. I'm just gonna show you from the other side. So whatever leg is in front, that's the direction you're gonna be twisting. But you want those hips down. Inhale, press that left hand into the floor. Exhale, right arm. So see how my hips are low, my arm is straight. I can do it on this side. If those hips are higher than your shoulders, drop to your knee. If the arm isn't extending all the way, take it to your hip. Let me check it out. Hold this here. Hips down, chest up. You don't have to extend that arm all the way. This one's tricky. Good, keep that chest up. Bur yeah, perfect, looking good. This is where the blocks really help me. Woo, one more breath, drop those hips. Lift your chest a little higher. And then inhale, take the hand down. Woo. Exhale, step it on back. Good job, everybody. And go through your flow or come to child's pose. When you're done, we're all gonna meet in child's pose. So a nice wide child's pose. Take your time or add another flow, whatever you'd like. Taking deep breaths, letting that heart rate come down. We're gonna inhale, walk those hands over to the right diagonal. Noticing this time if your body feels a little bit different than what it does the first time we did this, towards the beginning of class. Inhale, slowly coming back to the center and exhale over to that left diagonal, all the way over. Slowly coming back to the center, inhale, and exhale, walking those hands up. Great job, everyone. We're gonna come into a seated twist. So go ahead and come to a seated position and shake those legs out. Good job. So we have a couple of options, or two options here. So we're gonna start with that right leg. We're gonna take it up and over. So you can stay right here with that other leg stretch out in front of you. If you want a little more stretch in those hips and your glutes, you can bend that bottom leg. I think we've done this one before. But keep your hips on the floor. So either one or two, whatever you want to do, you're going to sit up nice and tall and we're going to look over that right shoulder. You're just going to gently pull that knee in towards you. You can use your hand or your elbow. And I want you to find length in your seat first. 
So first sit up tall and then start to add a little twist. And then come back to the center. And then you're even just gonna bring that knee to your chest or lean forward a little bit. If you want a little more, grab those ankles and pull them in towards you as you lean forward. So if it doesn't feel good on your knees, then don't do this. And just bring that leg in towards your chest, almost like you're cradling a baby a little bit. That's good for tight hips. And you can slowly release and we'll do the same thing on the other side. So now your left leg comes over. You can stay right here or bend that bottom leg up to you. So nice and tall. Imagine that piece of string on top of your head lifting you up first. Don't worry about the twist yet. I want nice and tall and then gently and slowly add the twist. Take your time, wanna breathe into the poses and not force ourselves into any of these. Very slowly come back to the center. Hug that knee in, maybe reach for those ankles, lean forward a little bit. I'm gonna sort of cradle my leg and my hip here. So hold that for just a couple more breaths. Try to lean forward slightly. And then go ahead and release, shake the legs out. All right, we're gonna come down onto our back. Actually, we're gonna come onto our side first. Just kidding. Uh, fetal position and go ahead and start on your left side. Okay, so remember you all like this move. We're gonna do it again. It is our, um, just our uh, open book, I like to call it. So knees into your chest, nice fetal position. Um, the closer we are to the chest, the more support you'll have for your back. So if you want them further away, you're just gonna feel a little more of a pull in your back. So keep them close in, arms are straight out. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring us in the top arm. To your right arm. So you're gonna look all the way over and then slowly come back. Let's do it two more times. Inhale and exhale. So we're coming into a spinal twist one last time and you're gonna hold this here. So your arms are making the letter T. You're looking over that shoulder. Big twist here, looking over that right shoulder as your knees are pulled over to the left side. And then slowly close that arm or close the book. And we're gonna switch and do the other side. So you gently roll onto your back and just go to the other side. So swing my legs around. So same thing, knees in, arms straight. And then when you're ready, start to open that arm. Inhale and exhale. If you find one side's a little tighter than the other, that's okay. Maybe those legs can relax on a block or a blanket or a pillow. One more time. You're gonna hold this here. Look all the way over. So big twist here. Slowly close it back up. And then gently roll onto your back, nice and easy. You're gonna hug your knees into your chest. Gently rock side to side. I want you to wiggle your toes and your ankles, make circles in one direction. And then slowly lower those feet onto the floor. Do a windshield wiper here, just dropping the legs from left to right. Nice and easy. One more on each side. And then keep your knees up, feet right underneath those knees. We're gonna lift up into a bridge. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, gently peel your spine off the mat. 
one vertebrae at a time, lifting up very gently, not too high. Inhale, slowly lower down. And exhale, slowly lift up. We're gonna do a couple of bridges. Inhale, lower. It's great to strengthen your lower back, but also your glutes and your hamstrings. And it's also a good stretch for our hip flexors. We're gonna do one more. We'll just hold on to that last one for a couple extra breaths. Now, if you have something a little more advanced in your practice, you're more than welcome to do that here. Maybe a, a full bridge or wheelbarrow, you're more than welcome to do that. If you want a little more, interlace those hands under your hips and pull those arms in, lift the hips a little bit, just a tiny bit higher. You're gonna feel a big stretch across the chest here. And just for two more breaths, wherever you're at. Very slowly start to lower down, one vertebrae at a time. Give yourself a little hug and pull those knees in. Go ahead and extend your arms and arms overhead, legs overhead. Our last stretch, we're gonna do that um, crested moon shape position with our body. You're gonna sort of create the letter C with your body. So arms extend, legs out. Go ahead and while keeping your hips on the floor, you're gonna walk your legs all the way over to the right side as far as you can. And then the same thing with your arms and your upper body. But you wanna keep your back on the floor. So you're sort of making the letter C shape with your body or a crescent moon shape. You're gonna feel a huge stretch in that left side body. Inhale, slowly come back to the center. And exhale, now you're walking over to the other corner. Again, just walking over as far as you can. We don't want those hips to come off the floor. So keep them on the floor. Walk over as far as you can, move the arms, turn the head, same thing. Hold this here. And then very slowly come back to the center. Inhale and exhale. All right, you're gonna go ahead and just find maybe one final stretch that maybe we didn't get to today and then end whatever relaxation pose you would like. Maybe that traditional corpse pose or coming up into a supported bridge. Maybe back into that fetal position, whatever you'd like. Close your eyes. Just relax for a couple moments. If you're by wall, feel free to do legs up the wall. A little extra stretch for those hamstrings. Maybe a child's pose will feel good, whatever you would like. Very slowly start to bring awareness back to your body. 
Start to move those legs around. Wiggle your fingers, your toes, circle those wrists, maybe your ankles. Gently start to pull both knees into your chest. Move from side to side, massaging your spine, giving yourself one last hug, and then slowly moving over to one side and gently pressing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Maybe taking a couple shoulder rolls once you're up there. <clears throat> and then all together, we'll inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, take them down. One more time, big deep breath in, all the way up. Bring those palms together on your exhale, lower down to heart center, close your eyes for a moment. Thank yourself as always for making the time for you on this beautiful Friday morning for your body, but hopefully also for your mind and for your spirit. And we'll open our eyes and we will say namaste to one another. Namaste. Thank you everybody so much for coming. Happy Friday, enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this flow. And most importantly, I hope you're feeling better than when you started. Thanks everybody. Bye. Yes. Thank you.